Do the servers in the back wear masks? Nobody wears masks. So the servers don't wear masks? No. Does Postmates well, know? We order from Postmates. Yeah, my dad's 82 years I, old. I know who you are. You're putting people's lives at risk. I know who you are. Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm going to talk about Basilico's in Huntington Beach and how it just popped with a uh, Inside Edition reporter and let's get started talking about it. If it's your first time to my channel, you want to grow, be a better delivery driver, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a like, it helps me out a lot. The reason I'm telling this story is not to personally dox anyone. It's because I used to live in Huntington Beach and I used to pick up at Basilico's and I personally know Tony because he found my missing Postmates credit card one time the next day. So I definitely have some personal attachment to the story. I've eaten at Basilico's pre-2020, uh, pre and I used to pick up there back in like 2018 when I used to live there. But one time I left my credit card, they were the last delivery, it was late at night. The next morning I looked at my wallet and I was like, which is why I always say have two credit cards at all time. So I called them the next morning and Tony was actually the one that gave me my credit card back. Now, as I said before, I don't personally condone going on to re bad review their page or spam them or do anything like that, because if you haven't been a customer of theirs, you have no right to do that. But this was put out by Lisa Guerrero, and she's at 4 Lisa Guerrero on Twitter. So this is actually now uh, public information because the owner of the restaurant basically spoke about it. So I'm going to respond to the video as it happens. And the start of this video was not clickbait. He actually does uh, not have his workers wearing any protective gear. Would you order from a restaurant or eat at a restaurant if you openly knew that the staff was not wearing masks at this time? Let me know down in the comments below. And to get this out of the way, this video is sponsored by Cover. Cover is gig worker benefits for all the major gig worker delivery apps. You can get your free month of the casual plan with my link in the description below. It has tons of amazing perks, such as protecting you should you do get sick if you're driving around and you catch something and you have to be hospitalized, or if your car breaks down, or if you need sick pay, plus tons of other perks, which I'm gonna cover in a lot of other videos. Should you ever have to be hospitalized for any reason, Cover will cover you with their monthly casual plan subscription, which you can get a free month of using my code below in the description. Of course, if you need more protection, you can always upgrade your plan. For just starting at $19 a month, go to the part-time plan. Definitely click the link below, get a free month of coverage, it helps the channel. So they're saying you can't wear a mask in here? Is this your restaurant? Yeah, I'm telling you. We're immediately met by Tony, the owner of the restaurant. This is the person who gave me back the credit card, and he's about to be confronted, and he's very open about everything. Am I not allowed to wear a, a mask in here? Yeah, Why can't I wear a mask? Why don't you allow masks? Do the servers in the back wear masks? Nobody wears masks. So the servers don't wear masks? No. Does Postmates well, know? We order from Postmates. My dad's 82 years I, old. I know who you are. You're putting people's lives at risk. I know who you are. Tony does say several times throughout this video, I know who you are. Um, it seems that, you know, this uh, reporter is, who I'm not really familiar with, is trying to definitely make a story here because she constantly replies back to her, you know, her dad being 82 years old. And a lot of the patrons in the restaurant, you actually hear them mocking the reporter, like, you're ruining my meal and that sort of thing. And those people that were sitting outside, it looked like, you know, they had their food and they were eating and their masks were off. And that's technically okay right now. You really can't say much about that, in my opinion. Um, but there are people coming in and out of the restaurant uh, without any mask whatsoever. And they seem to be very comfortable with it. Like they know this is the spot to go to, to not wear the mask. Um, and he also, um, you also hear him say how he's got his staff basically not wearing masks, which to me, that's, that's the, the biggest problem of all. Um, I can understand if they're outside eating, but their staff needs to be wearing masks. My day job is food and you have to wear a mask right now because you can easily spread. If one person's sick, you can spread it to just all your customers all day long and it, you'd be a hub for, for this virus. So this is what really got me a little bit triggered. But at the same time, it was because it's just not sanitary in my opinion. Or First Amendment battleground here. And it's a free zone, so... So he says uh, about the free zone. Um, 
I'm not sure about the free zone. I, I'm in Los Angeles County at this point. In Los Angeles County, you have to wear a mask by law to enter any kind of uh, business at the moment. I'm not sure what the rules are for Orange County. I probably should have researched that more. If someone knows, they can leave it in the comments below. But this reference to a free zone, um, I mean, technically it is his business. And it's it goes against my other nature to say to someone how to run their business. That's That's another thing that you know, I'm kind of conflicted about and why I kind of want to break this down and see what all my viewers think. Fine. But, uh, you want to talk to, uh, yeah. These guys, though, know also. They, they, they should be wearing masks. I'm not going to block you. We're looking to take a mask off coming if you like. No, my, my dad's 82 years old. We order from you all the time, and I'm disturbed that you wouldn't have your servers wear masks. It's dangerous. Now, the reporter was getting some grief in the comments, um, and some people were basically saying that she wasn't actually really a customer and that she was using this to basically push her own agenda. However, she did post a screenshot on her Twitter right here of her recent purchases from the restaurant. So, yeah, she really is a customer. Okay, I absolutely want to make a point of saying that I just heard someone coughing in the background. That is literally why you have to wear the mask. They're literally coughing in public. <laughs> Patriot I just want to know what the, well, I'm a Patriot too. Okay. Well, I haven't met a Patriot yet that, that so, so freely just masks up, you know. Um, okay, so it's a political thing for you. It's not a political thing Politics. at all. It's a freedom thing. It's not about science or it's facts or medicine. It's, 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 it's a freedom thing. It's a freedom thing. Uh, the owner of the restaurant starts making some very weird comments at this point, saying um, there's a lot of Patriots here. And you kind of hear when he starts talking about this, he gets a lot of people around him riled up. Uh, since I left Huntington Beach, it became a hotbed for political um, agendas. Like, I see a lot of videos of from both sides of basically people just trying to ruin other people's days. And it's really toxic. And I'm kind of glad I'm not there anymore. Um, but I hear him say, like, it's a patriot thing. It's not political. Um, it's not about science or anything. But after... Um, the reporter was walking away and I'm just going to post the screenshot. And if you want, you can go check out this, this reporters at for Lisa Guerrero on Twitter. Um, but she basically had a conversation with him where he denies Dr. Fauci and says that, like an embarrassing Italian. And I'm not even going down that road. I'm not touching it on my channel. I don't want to get into it. There's the screenshot. You can go check it out on her Twitter. I'm not touching it. where the video basically ends like i said there was the follow-up conversation afterwards but i'm not putting that on my channel and it's one of those things where i wear a mask everywhere i go i wear a mask all day during work i've actually trimmed my beard down significantly to work with the mask um, and i still see people daily who come into my work and are aggressive about not wearing a mask it's literally just wash your hands social distance six feet and wear a mask Sorry for the audio. I needed to listen and I needed to respond. And I don't know any other way to do this when I'm on my phone. Thank you for checking out my video. Definitely click the link below for your free month of Cover and sign up for the, the casual or the part-time plan the next month. Like I said, all of it helps my channel and helps me put out more content for you. Have a great day.